Hey, this is Chuck. Thank you for joining me. I wanted to make this brief video regarding the TTM squeeze and the TTM wave and how you can get it to look the way it, you see it on your screen in this video. I'm also going to be talking to you about several other indicators on the chart uh, that have helped me immensely in uh, better understanding the chart, its uh, mechanics, and what I want to do for my next trade. So let me zoom in here and we'll take a look at the top of the chart. Uh, this is the charting pattern. You'll notice that at the bottom of the charting pattern are these gray lines. I have gone ahead and inserted the volume onto the chart uh, in this fashion so it doesn't take up the space down here and I get an extra space for an indicator. How do you do that? You got to come up to the little uh, gear icon. You're going to put overlap of volume. You'll see it over here in this section. Once you do that, go over to appearance and then choose your color down here I've chosen a gray color which you'll find in the additional colors this particular gray color here once you've done that click OK click OK and then your volume bars will appear as gray so you get to see it but it doesn't really interfere with the rest of the colors of the background you can if you use a white background area you could make this a different color a lighter shade uh, and it won't interfere with these candle formations which sometimes they blend as you can see on this day there was a, quite a bit of volume and would have uh, interfered with the coloring of the uh, candle bars that you see there and if you look at the candle bars you'll notice that the candle bars are blue and red this is because I have applied the TTM trend uh, onto the chart the TTM trend what it does it takes the average uh, range of the last six bars and if the closing price of the current bar is above the midpoint of that range it will make it a blue candle if it is below the midpoint of the six bar prior range it will be painted red uh, and so when it does that it tells us where the price is trading in relation to the current trend it also removes the noise of little candles and uh, candles that have uh, long uh, wicks so it kind of like smooths out uh, the price action for you some people prefer uh, uh, the traditional candlesticks I happen to like this one because it keeps me focused very nicely on what looks like a trend it trends uh, when it's blue if it turns red it's because the prior six bars the range of those six bars the red bar is 50 percent below that range and that's an interesting point to let you know there's some weakness here so I like it visually it tells me what's going on uh, uh, just just glancing at uh, these particular bars and of course the way to do that is just to go into your um, your charting platform and look for TTM trend and it will turn your candlesticks to blue and red next thing you'll notice are these arrows uh, green arrows and red arrows or pink arrows in this case uh, these this is the TTM scalper indicator sometimes known as the TTM scalper alert um, the scalper alert or the indicator is a visual way uh, to help you determine whether to buy or sell against a pivot level so these are pivot levels um, the indicator points uh, uh, an up or paints an up arrow or a down arrow uh, and representing a pivot high or low here this will be a pivot high these are pivot highs and these are pivot lows and so these are always going to be marked by an arrow uh, it's important to remember that the arrows plot in other words they'll show up on your screen uh, only after three consecutive higher uh, or lower closes so you'll have to have three consecutive higher highs before it plots or three consecutive lower lows in order for it to plot um, and this works on any time frame and by the way so does the the paint uh, or the TTM trend the the the, the colors of the candles also works on any time frame in fact all of these work on any time frame the next thing you'll notice on the chart is this blue zigzagging line this in fact is called the zigzag high low on uh, thinkorswim it should be a similar sounding name on other charting packages you'll notice how neatly it corresponds to the pivot high and pivot low they kind of connect them together um, this is an independent zigzag line in other words you don't have to have 
uh, the TTM scalper alert on in order to for this particular zigzag to catch the pivot high and pivot low. I like to have it on the screen because it gives me a nice indication of higher highs and higher lows, uh, as you'll see here. So just got, I know that I'm in an uptrend just by looking at the zigzag line. The tolerances for this particular um, zigzag line, I have it at, uh, let me open that up here. I like to put it at percentage reversal 0.5. That's not what it is by default. Uh, I have absolute zero, uh, reversal at zero and 1.5 ATR reversal. And it really does manage to capture the um, almost to almost to the tick uh, the the different candles that move in in and out through the chart the next thing you'll notice is these three lines pink blue and pink this is the keltner channel indicator i like to have it on because it shows uh, uh, volatility uh, one of the volatility components that you'll learn is important in this indicator down here which is the ttm squeeze uh, my use for this particular um, indicator is that uh, when a stock tends to want to come back and revert down to the mean, which is the mean level of the move, which is the blue line that you see running through the two pink lines, which is the channel, you'll notice how, for example, just in this one example, how uh, there was a pivot high here and it came down and came and tested this area right here. Uh, it, to the blue uh, mean revision line and then it kind of bounced up there came back down underneath the line but then ran back up to the top of the channel I like it to see if uh, that area will hold uh, and where price reverts down to this area uh, sometimes this is my take profit if I'm, I'm short over here I'll take profit uh, start putting profit targets here or try to put profit targets down at the lower end of the band and finally, to wrap up the what's on the chart itself, you'll notice this orange uh, pinkish line. This is the 50 day simple moving average. Nothing fancy helps me also to visualize the trend uh, right away. I know that we are looking to the left side of the chart. This this particular the SPY at that moment uh, is in an uptrend. I'm sorry, I should have mentioned this was the SPY. Uh, but it's an uptrend we know that because it's trading above the 50-day moving average and then once it approaches over here which is just recently in october the beginning of october it starts to challenge the level and then it closes right at the level kind of dances around at the level and then we see a big breakdown uh, october 10th below the level and at this point the um the 50-day moving average is beginning to point downwards or at least lean downwards what that means in the future nobody knows uh, and really nobody knows anything about what price will be right here on monday uh, i'm shooting this on a saturday afternoon we don't know what this is going to be tomorrow on, on monday after on monday morning but we do know that uh, this particular um, underlying which is the spy is currently trading under the 50-day simple moving period so now let's take a look at what the ttm squeeze uh, and this is going to be in the lower part of your chart um, what this is all about we're also going to discuss the ttm wave and i'm going to give you a little trick on how to get it to look like this because out of the box at least on thinkorswim these two are combined together and so you lose some of this detail because of the blues that you see at this lower one so i'm going to teach you how to separate those two so it looks like this so first let's talk about the ttm squeeze uh, the TTM squeeze indicator by John Carter is a very interesting indicator as far as I'm concerned. I happen to like it uh, quite a bit. And, and let's take a look and break it down into its component parts. Looking at the center line, which you see here in this area, uh, you'll see that there's a, a series of green dots. At some point, there will be a red dot. And you'll see maybe that it might not just be one red dot, but as you see here, several red dots okay let me explain to you what the uh, the dots are about the green and red dots along the zero line right here you see the zero line uh indicate if there's going to be a squeeze now what does a squeeze mean well uh as you know uh, during times the market will uh be trending up or be trending down 
or be trending sideways or what's otherwise known as consolidating and really consolidation what that means is that there's there's a price struggle there's a struggle about what price should be um, between the bears and the bulls the buyers and the sellers and there seems to just to give you an example right up here there seems to be very little big candles very small candles and they're all kind of grouped together in this one range right here and this is a little consolidating period right in this area right here uh, and so what, what the market is telling us right now is that the market doesn't know which which direction it wants to go with this particular uh, underlying here of the SPY, uh, whether it wants to continue the trend upwards or whether it wants to bring it down. There's some indecision in the market about what price is going to be in this area. And what the TTM uh, squeeze indicator tells us um, is, is once there is a consolidation period, uh, the market wants to release the energy, as John Carter refers to it in, in another video that I've, I've seen. And the market wants to release this energy of consolidation in one direction or another. And so the first clue about that are these dots. Now, a green dot tells us that there's really no squeeze in place. There's no consolidation of price. Price is either trending, as you see here in this direction, or it's trending downward as you see here in this direction right here okay and I'm gonna to explain to you what these colors mean in a moment when you get a red dot it tells us that the potentially there is a squeeze condition in effect and you see the first red dot right here sandwich sandwiched in between these two green dots after a long string of green dots there's this one little red dot and something is telling this this is a little clue that something's going to happen here something there's some consolidation going on in price and in fact although these dots are green it's only probably because of volume and, and a little bit more uh, vigorous price action but not that much because if you'll notice there are no really no significant bars over in this area let me just zoom in here so you can take a look and you'll see there's really very there's your red dot and there's very little change in movement but for some reason the indicator tells us it's green at this moment then we go switch back to red now we see the red dot and we got to pay attention because we're going to see how many uh what's going to happen next after these red dots well we see another red dot appear on the following day on the 10th on october 5th october 8th over the weekend after the weekend we see another red dot so we know that the market is still consolidating uh, there's a price uh, there's a, a price war going on between bears and bulls. Um, then again, on the 9th, we see it again. And then we see a green dot fire off, and we see a bar heading down. This is our clue, and this is our indication that the market is heading down. And it's going to head down and release that energy down. And in fact, if you take a look, now the dots stay green and you see that the, the 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 length of the bar indicates the strength of the move downwards and at this point when it and, and so we have a red bar when we get to a yellow bar the conditions are at this point hey watch it there may be some lessening of cell pressure here we're not sure yet we see another yellow bar the following day we're not sure yet that we see some of the buyers bringing it back in fact that's confirmed by this candlestick right here where we see the buyers pushing price up and then the following day on the 18th which is uh, just a few short days ago selling pressure resumes and we get back to a red bar condition and a red bar condition uh, this past friday uh, that uh, uh, yesterday that uh, today i'm filming this on a saturday afternoon so where do we go from here not sure but right now there seems to be a strong trend down uh, the energy was released or the signal was fired off on the 10th uh, in the down direction and we saw the move uh, from uh, uh, to uh, 286.20 sorry 286.95 and it closed that day at 278 so a, quite a significant move in the SPY following day was a continuation of that and then we see a pivot low fire off so we get this confirmation that there may be some move back but this one's telling us hey it's still going to go down and the following day it does with some buying pressure uh, as you see this candle showing buyers stepping in and trying to push it higher could not break the open from the prior day what i like most about the ttm squeeze is it's very visual um let me explain to you uh 
uh, what some of these colors mean. Uh, when the TTM fires off here, uh, it, it fired off initially here, but let's use this one right here. When it fired off here, uh, it puts you on alert to, to look for any price moves. Uh, you'll notice that the market did go down on that day, and we know that this particular candle is uh, closed 50% lower than the prior six candles. Uh, that's why it's red. Um, we do see the next, the following day, and, but there's no move. There's really no indication of momentum as to that downward move. Uh, the next following day, again, another red dot. So we got to keep an eye on it. Uh, another red candle, presumption being at this point, although there is no indication of volume or momentum of move uh, here in this area, we still see, an, again, a move to the downside now challenging the 50-day moving average. So now we're really, you know, if you're not gonna take the trade here, you might wanna take it here. We're still keeping an eye on it. The following day, still no momentum indication how strong this move is going to be to the downside. We see this candle here at this area now closed below the 50-day moving average. Uh, and again, no real body. So there's a big struggle here between buyers and sellers move over the following day this is when we begin to start seeing some momentum momentum to the downside with the red dot and so now at this point uh, and, and we see a close below the 50-day simple moving average big battle between uh, uh, buyers and sellers as you can see oops that's too much let me back that out excuse me you see that there is a uh, a bit of a struggle here at this area right here and so the very next day we see and, and we and we see the move downward so i'm me i'm taking the trade i'm probably going to do a uh either a call deb a call credit spread here uh in the options market if you're going to short stock you could do it at this level um, place your stops accordingly um if it's me i'm doing an options play uh probably at this level uh at, at around 290 uh with a backstop of two, two, 229 2925 or 295 uh, to make it a five dollar wide strike and uh, and and see what happens and in fact the following day you see what happens you see a big move a stronger momentum down to the downside uh, we even see another stronger move down uh, there is a pivot point that's formed and uh, the momentum is pretty decent momentum continues to go down although no new low in this area and then when we get to the yellow bar it tells us hey momentum is waning it's 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 uh it's becoming weaker might keep, might keep an eye on it we don't know what's going to happen we still have an equal length bar the following day we have an equal length bar more or less still maybe a little smaller still waning not that strong of a momentum certainly less strong than this particular bar and we also look up here and we see that it's re uh, rejecting the keltner channel the lower part of the channel and we see a very, very interesting push up, but the sellers are still pushing down and they may have closed it right at the open from the prior day. Guess what happens the following day? Continuation to the downside with another momentum bar red, more or less at the same level. So we, st we still see a strong momentum to the downside, um, even uh, as late as uh, this past Friday, uh, October 19th, 2018. And so looking as well on the on the up move here in this area, would like to explain to you what the blue shading means, a lighter blue that forms after, and in this case there was no red dot, but we do see a transition over from, uh, uh, from, the, from the low pivot point here. Uh, we see that uh, selling pressure is uh, diminishing. We get a crossover the blue line. We now have a crossover into the blue, uh, a, a light blue bar forming uh, at this candle. We would have missed part of this move right here, but now feeling comfortable that there's some momentum moving to the upside, continues to move all the way up to the, almost, to the, yeah, in fact, to the pivot point, as you see up here. And then we see momentum begin to wane, begin to weaken, uh, still moving up, uh, and, and forming, there's a retracement here, forming a lower, uh, a higher low here at this point, another pivot point fires off. We are still to the upside, although uh, weak uh, or weak, more weak than before or weaker than before, better said. Uh, we do continue to move to the upside. And then we finally have a little bit of 
tailing off of pressure we have another pivot point this pivot point is just slightly higher than the prior one i believe so we're still technically in an up move uh 50 day moving average is telling us so this is another retracement and then we begin the march up so light blue means momentum is building dark blue means that that is, the momentum is beginning to uh, diminish from the up uh, from the upside in other words sellers are coming in and bringing mo momentum down the next thing i want to talk to you about is a ttm wave the ttm wave is a way of visualizing the overall strength and the direction of a given market across multiple time frames uh, uh, the way that that it's comprised of is a short-term wave and a long-term wave and the short-term wave is generally uh, seen as uh, the yellow and red as you see here the blue uh, light blue and dark blue wave is uh, the long-term wave so let's talk about what we see here in this particular uh, short-term wave the short-term wave uh, the yellow uh, it indicates a, a short-term strength move uh, followed by the red uh, which uh, tells us that uh, that is beginning to uh, falter it's beginning to weaken uh, we see the red now turn uh, on it underneath and, and you'll notice that the underneath the red becomes the strength indicator so now it's becoming stronger to the downside the yellow now tells us that it is a weaker uh it's weakening the downside move is weakening until we get to the zero line once we're at the zero line the yellow one is now the strength and on the top and tells us that momentum that the strength uh, i'm sorry not momentum but the strength uh and direction is up once we see it turn red now we know that it's going to or it's weakening and coming back down uh to the zero line this is a short-term move within the larger move and that's down here in this blue section well in the blue section we have uh the light blue tells us strong uh a strong long-term strength and direction well the direction is up because it's above the, the the zero line but it's a strong move up then we have a little bit of the dark blues but it continues on up and the dark blues indicate that you know that the, the the moment that the strength of the move the, the strength of the the particular move in that direction uh long term is uh, beginning to fade but then again we come back to the light blue so so long as this stays up above the zero line we are the long term trend is up which is obviously confirmed as you can see by the zigzag lines as well as the 50 day moving average here we have a transition where the dark blue is now beginning to we're beginning to fade down into below the zero line so the long-term trend is beginning to fade and transition and perhaps transition and flip over to the downside what i like most about the tm the ttm wave is it's it's visual uh it's it's visual presentation is is, is very very pleasing to me at least uh it tells me exactly where i am on the short-term trend uh, obviously at you know closer in time to the blank space to your right which is the future we know that it is in a pretty decent strong downward trend kind of waning a little bit in other words we're kind of uh, that that strong downward trend is beginning to let up a little bit in the short term which is obviously reflected in the candlesticks as well um, and, and we also still see some type of uh, evening out here of the long-term trend currently however it is going down so you see some downward pressure it's just very visual to me i like it very much uh, in the next section i'm going to show you how to set it up so it looks like this because the way it comes out of the box in uh, think or swim it doesn't look anything like this so i have went ahead and removed all of the indicators i wanted to show you how it is that you are uh, able to to separate the long term from the short term um, wave links uh, using the TTM uh, uh, wave indicator so let's take let's go ahead and go into our studies uh, we're going to add a study um, or actually we could just go ahead and edit a study and find it this way easier TTM uh, and that's going to be the TTM wave go ahead and add that and we're going to add it twice so now you have it here twice then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and hit this little gear 
and uh, we're going to go to wave two and go ahead and uncheck that box wave to low and uncheck show plot get rid of that hit OK on the next one we're just going to on wave one show plot hit OK hit apply and hit OK and you'll see that it comes up like this now it let me show you what it looks like without doing that we go ahead and edit studies go to TTM put the wave in there now this is your third lower watch what it looks like you'll see down here that it plots it all together you see this is your short-term trend the blue is your long-term trend so you really it really doesn't doesn't show see this it doesn't show this detail up here so I don't like it like this I don't want it together I can't tell what's going on here uh, and then you have these little little bitty short-term moves that you really can't make out because the overbearing uh, blue uh, indicating in this case would be an upward trend uh, it's covering it so I like it to be separated like this so I know what the short-term trend looks like and what the long-term trend looks like and I don't have to try to decipher that or you know make it out heads or tails from this area right here so let me go ahead and get rid of that particular study, edit studies, and let's get rid of the last one. Oops, cancel. Go ahead and get rid of that, and you'll see this. And this is beautiful to me, very visual. I know, obviously, market's going down. We, are, we see that confirmation here, market's going down. This little move right here shows that that down market move is kind of fading on us. Maybe we're, it's not as strong obviously not as strong but we also see this downward trend on the long-term uh, area um, on the long-term move we see that it's coming down so we're going to keep an eye on the SPY I think everybody has an eye on the SPY at this point in either event so I hope you've enjoyed this video um, I look forward to making more for you if you liked it please uh, give me a thumbs up if you have any questions or comments please uh, leave them below uh, this is Chuck I hope you've enjoyed your time with me